a great day. Space is going to drop back a little bit for us this morning um, after that first EVA. But we're looking forward to getting into the TLP with the cow. Thanks. And we're back with live downlink from the International Space Station, awaiting uh, the initial entry uh, into the Japanese logistics pressurized module, that entry to be uh, made by Expedition 16 Commander Peggy Whitson, Japanese Space Agency astronaut Takao Doi, and Mission Specialist Rick Linehan, uh, one of the two spacewalkers who helped prepare the JLP for its uh, transition from the shuttle cargo bay to its present position on the top of the Harmony node of the International Space Station. Whitson and Doi uh, donning uh, protective glasses for entry uh, into this new module. That's a standard procedure for uh, entry in just about any new, new module uh, of the International Space Station. Also these uh, breathing mask uh, to protect from any debris that might be floating around. Uh, not an uncommon situation in uh, new modules uh, in the zero-g environment of the International Space Station. And the hatch uh, swinging open, uh, Peggy Whitson uh, opening that last hatch uh, between uh, the Japanese logistics module, the newly arrived module of the International Space Station. Now she and uh, Takao Doi uh, entering the new module. As the International Space Station and Endeavour fly over uh, Manila in the Philippines, with them is uh, Endeavour Mission Specialist Rick Linehan has uh, played a role in the uh, preparations for this ingress and uh, was one of the spacewalkers that uh, prepared the JLP for its uh, move to its present position. And now the lights come on. It's a happy and a noteworthy time for uh, the International Space Station as it acquires a module uh, from yet another of the partner nations. Crew members uh, checking out uh, environmental conditions inside the uh, newly opened module. The module, of course, now in a temporary position atop the Harmony node. Once the main element of uh, Kibo, the Japanese laboratory, the International Space Station arrives, the JLP uh, interior shown here will be moved uh, to the top of that uh, large module, the largest in the International Space Station, where it'll serve as a kind of an attic and storage area.
and Houston Alpha on two uh, for the CSA CP and the CDM reading. Ready to copy. O2 is 19.5 on one, one CSA CP and 20.6 on the other. CO was zero and one, and HC, uh, HCL was zero and zero, and HCN zero and zero, and CDM uh, was zero decimal one six. We copy all. Those are good atmospheric parameters. You have a go to continue. And Alpha Tsukuba is also go to continue JL operation. And all of us on the ground would like to congratulate you and entire crew on your great work on Kibo, the first Japanese manned space facility. We have a good KU and we are watching your Ingrid. Nako, thank you very much. This is a small step for one Japanese astronaut, but a giant entrance for Japan to a greater and newer space program. Congratulations. And uh, we aboard the ISS would like to welcome, officially welcome uh, the Japanese elements on board the International Space Station. We love our new room already. It looks great. And we're very happy to have our new partners working with us much more actively now uh, with a new module on board. And we look forward to all the future work together. Houston, it looks great. Congratulations and arigato gozaimasu. And from Tsukuba, thanks Takao and Peggy, omedetou gozaimasu. You are our Kibo hope. Thank you very much. As we watch this activity inside the JLP, the Japanese Logistics Pressurized Module, opened for the first time a little before 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Outside uh, the International Space Station, the Canada Arm.